Welcome to Rome, my friends. My name is Eric, and we are playing some more Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Our last time I left us uh, saying I was going to do a little bit of mech building, and I have done that. This is what we've got at the moment. This is our Atlas RS, <clears throat> and eventually it'll let me look at it. LB-10X, two LRM-15s, four medium pulse lasers, AMS, exactly as we said. Put an uh, 340 in it with XL mobility, uh, hard gel, some armor. Um, yeah, I mean... It is more or less what we said we'd make. Uh, it's got a damage per second of 21.96. Um, it's got a boatload of armor, 162, 102 up there, 91 in the legs, 83 in the arms. I mean, it's it, it's a beast. It's 40 more here than, than it normally has. I might, uh, I'm not gonna touch it now. Um, heat could be an issue, it's 2.6 versus 5.13. We talked about medium pulse lasers versus LRMs. It is what it is, it's good. Uh, the next one, the Annie. Uh, ooh, I actually, we, we might have one more thing to do real fast. Uh, weapon upgrades. Um, I forgot to do this. ERPPC. We're going to upgrade some ERPPCs. Um, we're going to upgrade some regular PPCs. We're going to upgrade some medium lasers. And some more medium lasers. I think that's good for that. And maybe we'll upgrade an AC5 too, because why not? So I do have to make one more switch here. We got to fix this. I took out a couple ERPPCs to upgrade them because I noticed that we were going to have enough uh, and we could get a couple of tier two. In fact, we can get three tier two in here, um, which should then leave us enough maybe to get another one up. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Well, uh, tonnage wise, we're still a little bit under on this. And I'll be honest with you, I don't. I, I think we're just going to do, um, armor? I mean, I don't, oh, did I have another one of those? Hold on. Um, oh, I don't have, you know what I don't have? Um, I don't have AMS on this. Let's go ahead and put an AMS in this. Maybe we'll put laser AMS up there. It'd be nice if we had two. Um, it doesn't say I need more than that, so we'll assume I don't. Um, we could put a gyro on it. I got a gyro mobility on there. Um, but that still leaves us a few tons under. Um, let's just go ahead and max armor. See where that puts us. Two tons under. Um... I don't, I don't really have, I mean, I guess we could put jump jets on it. Do we have more jump jets available in the area? It can take three. Um, so I guess one, ooh, they weigh a lot. Uh, two tons each, huh? Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna put one on it. We're just gonna put one on it. Just to hop over something if we need to. Because I think it's funny. Um, and we'll start work. That's going to be 30 days. We're, we're okay. We're okay. We can do that. Oh, no, we can't. We can't do it. Not yet. Let's uh, revert. For now, let's just put our ERPPCs on. Uh, one, two, start work. That, that's going to cost us enough, but we'll, we'll play with that later. So that's done. Uh, the Marauder, the 2R, this is our Star League Relic. Um, you can see we have it done as well. I did swap out the AC5 for a UAC. Uh, the ER PPCs for regular PPCs, just from a heat standpoint. And I didn't think we really needed them. We did put mask, supercharger, jump jets on it, uh, upgraded the medium lasers, and uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's it's more or less the same. We just tweak the details a little bit, right? So it's done. Uh, we've upgraded all of these. Um, so they have armor, um, internal structure, and then depending on uh, weapons, uh, energy range, or damage or that sort of stuff. So all, all three of the new mechs have been upgraded. So this is kind of what I see as our A team. This is kind of what I see as our, our B team, so to speak. And these are our spares at the moment. Uh, these, can, these can punch way above their weight and if we need to take them in a big mission, we can. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So let's go ahead, let's timeline very quickly, get that, that annihilator done. And I've got a contract here. Uh, it's a, re a patrol, excuse me, not a recon. <laughs> This is the one we were going to do before, and we, we skipped to go off and do a duel a few episodes back. 
And of course, all this talk and I'm losing my throat, so cough drop here. Patrol through the old forest. 360, uh, so not 400. We'll have to kind of see how we want to add that up. Um, I'll take everybody out for the moment because this is going to be our A-team here. All right, so let's let's start with... Let's start with the turkey drop. Let's throw the Annihilator in there. Is that how I want to do that? So if we go there, then we can do two 80-tonners. It doesn't work as well with what we've got at the moment, does it? Let's take this one out. Let's go... Green Machine. Battlemaster. Which is hiding from me. There's the Broken Bow. And Copperhead Road? Perfect. 360. All right. Ryan's been in this one up to this point, so let's let's leave Captain Weaver in his mech. This has been Aaron. Where is the Morning Star? There we go. Um, let's see. Danny's got a Tannin Missiles. Roush has a 15. Let's put him in there. Let's see if we work. Oh, he's got 11. He's got 17 there, but... He can work on both of those in this mech. So that leaves Danny O in this one. And let's go ahead and go on a patrol. All right, we can punch, we can launch missiles. We've got the LB-2, 10X on two. We've got the medium pulse lasers on one. Okay. I think we're okay. We've got a lot of armor. We've got some AMS. Is in. We've got something flying in. Maybe. She says that, but she didn't tell us where. Okay. Got some sort of fight going on down there already, so I guess we need to get in there, huh? Oh. Something's down there. We got a fight going on there and a fight going on here. Dragon Slayer and an awesome down here. All right, let's roll for these. Hopefully they can handle whatever they got down there for the moment. Oh, too far away. He's down. Dragon Slayer. Walk out of the trees there. Take off that arm, maybe. All right. Oh, what do we got over here? Battlemaster. They got some big stuff out here. Okay. Whoops. Let's get in on this action. Oops, wrong thing. I 
think that wall's blocking all ours. Okay, is he come out here? All right, all right. I don't think we need. To, oh, maybe we do. Holy cow! This is a smoky, smoky fight. Oh, did they already take care of the other one? All right. Oh, didn't quite have my lock on. Oops, sorry about that. We got a headshot in there. Got him. Is that it? Oh, I haven't got to the, the location yet. Enemy forces moving in, Commander. Get ready for them. All right, now we need to kill 12 things. Okay. Dragon Slayer and something else. Man, there's a lot of stuff out here on the battlefield all of a sudden. Looks like we're gonna get it all at once, more or less. Ooh, AC twenties. All right, demolisher down. Let's. What do we got back here? SRM twenty. Okay, you're done too. All right, that helps a lot. We're down to. Uh, any of that stuff really been hit? Oh, you're been hit. Let's see if we can get some missiles on you. Get one. Get one mech out of here. Ooh, let's let's get you. I'm gonna put everybody on you. Four ER PPCs and an AC-10. Yeah, we don't want you here. Oh, that's too far away for my for my. We need to. We need to get a little closer if we want to uh, use the. Uh, there we go. Medium pulse lasers. I don't know, do I want to just take out the engine in him? Ah, they took off the arm first. I was going to say, it'd be great if we could get him more or less in, in one shape. I uh, can't get a shot on him. I think we just shot the ground there. See it? Target destroyed. Like the escape is right there. Wow, that was um, that was intense. We saw some big stuff there. We came out of it uh, pretty well and scratched, to be honest. All right, there's the night star. Um. It wouldn't be worth, I mean, it'd be worth it to sell it. I mean, that's 16 mil right there. It's going to take everything we have, but that's pretty good. Uh, we got a lot of these. Um, someone with an engine in it. <clears throat> Somebody got a headshot on him. Okay. Uh, not much left to you either. Yeah, I, I think I'm kind of okay with just taking the one... Big one. I mean, that was a crazy atlas with all the ER PPCs. It would have been nice to get that. Um, no, I think we just go ahead and take the Night Star and then... Um, for another medium laser. We did 1,600 damage, 900, almost 1,000 there for Captain Weaver. Aaron did 448 that time in the Battlemaster, and the Stalker did 43.
All right. <clears throat> I think I'd like to do a 400 tonner. There's one there. Demolition. Um, war zone. Four independents. 400 tons. Let's go there and take care of that. All right. War zone. 94. 400 tonnage. Go for all the salvage. One cash. Um, what do I want to do with that one? Hold on, let me let me take a look. See, let's let's do a little bit more on this. Um, AMS. I would love more cooling, but uh, I don't think that's happening. What we should probably do. Um, yeah, we'll go with this one. I was going to say, we could, we got, we got the tonnage that we're not, we don't have a lot of uses for. How about that? That gets us right at 100. We've got some AMS. We've got some ammo for it. Got a little bit more armor. Um, 22 days. Yeah, we'll be okay with that. All right, let's go back to the mission and see what else we want to put in here. So we've got the Corsair at 95. Um, and we've got the Green Machine at 90. Is that... Yeah, I think that's probably it. So let's go ahead and put Weaver back in his green machine here. Brewster here. Uh, let's go ahead and put Danny in the Corsair. We've been through rougher situations. Aaron in there and Roush in here with the PPCs. Now, I think what we should probably do actually long term is take out the ER PPCs and put regular PPCs in. Uh, and the reason I say that is if we take a look, just from a heat standpoint, right? Um, oh, let's see what we have. So, tier one ER PPC is 10 damage, 12 heat. A regular PPC, so tier, was that a tier one? Okay. So, 10 damage. Eight heat, right? So you're saving four heat each. So across three of them, that means you can fire two and get one free, more or less. So I think that's probably the way we should do it. And we've got decent one. I mean, we go up to here, we're down to 7.6, right? So we could definitely do something like that. Um, I just think ERPPCs masked like we have them there. It's just too much heat. If you're just running one of them, it's okay. But I think realistically, long term, we should probably do that. Uh, but for now, I think this will be fine. Is this what I want to pilot? Yeah, I'm interested in seeing what the AI will do with the Annie. So let's go ahead and run this route. All right. I'm going to slowly hike around here. And we'll shoot whatever's left to shoot when we get there. Probably not going to be ha happening, unknown uh, Javelin pilot, but you never know.
Towers, enemy movement is projected to hit your location at any moment. Seems to have already. That VTOL is on our list of targets. Let's make our quarter. Okay. We got hung up on that wall there. Phoenix Ock is still running around out there. Okay, four done, 18 to go, or 14 to go, excuse me. Lovely morning out here in the Badlands. You must have really kicked over the beehive. Sun just about ready to peek over the hill there. All right, we've got some big flyers coming in. Let's see if we can put some missiles on them. Ryan and a rifleman. Near target, Orion. All right, and the rifleman rotated this way, huh? I think he went through the building. And he said, I don't want those LRNs. You keep them. I said, okay, that's fine. How about some PPCs? Anybody else? Bueller? You, oh, there we go. On your position, Commander. Stay frosty. New target, Phoenix Hawk. He came in fast. He was, what, 1300 out a second ago? I don't think I have a UAV on this. I'm a little surprised the, uh, we don't have one in the Corsair either. I was thinking, I don't know if all Corsairs are, are UAV carriers or just. Yeah, give me the back again, buddy. Or the head, actually. Oh, you're you're done. He's like, yeah, no, I was just trying to distract you before I jumped out. Alright, well let's not go crit with it. This RS is working out a lot better than I thought it would. I generally am not a huge fan of the RSs, but, you know, kind of leaning heavy into the LRM-15s. Sure 
Take We've done out. okay. I don't think I'll waste any more missiles. I think we'll just step out here and get him with the lasers. Alright. They're coming in from there. I'll rotate this way. Rotate this way with me, buddy. Okay, maybe we won't follow that one. Whoops. Timby. That guy decided to come through the, the deal and run into his friend. Use out of these LRM 15s, though, aren't we? You know, I said I didn't think we'd spend a lot of time, you know, in kind of the overlap between the, the pulse lasers and the uh, and the LRM 15s, but I was clearly wrong. We've reached our quarter, Commander. From here on out, we're racking up bonus pairs. All right, I'm going to go. Up into the left eye here. I'm going to walk around this way, and we'll walk that way. I don't know when we're ready to bail, though. So I think I'm going to only do just... Oh, they're just going to land on top of us like that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Literally right on top of us. Got everybody? Wow, that was a... Uh, that was a quickly developing fight. Can we just go through this one? And there's no wall left here, but I think, is there a door on that side? Yeah, let's just walk through and we'll go this way. You guys get the Gintaro. I didn't think it was gonna take very long. Really? I can't go outside the door. Never mind. Okay, interesting. We'll go back out this way.
additional bogies setting an intercept course on your position. Ready up. Battle mech spotted. I don't think you are. I think your fight's over. If by component you mean your entire mech, then the answer is yes. This guy lost his AC and most of his... Okay, I'll go this way. I'm fine with that. We all will. All right. We got a large short burst laser, nice. Black Knight if we want it. He's got a, only thing damaged is the XL it looks like. I mean, the stuff on there is crap, but he's got dual AMS. 75 tons, doesn't help, ooh. Never mind. Uh, do we have ammo? I do have a double clan, uh, but I don't have any heat sinks to go with it. I've got the, the kit, but not the heat sinks. Um, Ryan. Hatamoto, Rifleman. What I need is ammo, clan ammo. I don't really need... I mean, I've got the missiles, right? Doubles, fine. Because I think we've only got one ton of clan LRM ammo. Um, I guess we'll go for the javelin, because I need something to sell. We did a lot of damage. Killed two black knights, killed our 40 VTOLs, let's see about that. Heavy rifle, okay. Some ammo for it, nice. Uh, ballistic heat transfer. Okay. It's not terrible. Uh, Narc Beacon, some ammo. Okay. Faster Missile Reload. Not too bad. Um, I don't think we took any real significant damage. I'm going to go ahead and sell you. Uh, I do want to check to verify that I am correct in thinking that we only have uh, one ton of Clan LRM ammo. Two tons. We got two tons. That's not too bad. Um, so we could do something with it. I mean, that's four and forty. We could probably run two LRM twenties for a little while off of that, but probably that's a one LRM twenty. Um, one SRM clan ammo. I don't think we need twenty of these. Let's knock that down a little bit. Um, okay, well, it is what it is. Um, so, what do we got laser-wise? ERPPCs, large laser. Got a couple large pulse lasers. Got some good short burst large lasers. Uh, some medium pulse lasers we already knew about, TAG. You know, we could do, on the Corsair, we could do something like Maybe large pulse lasers in the arm with a tag, and then the rest is medium pulse lasers if we wanted to go that route. That wouldn't be terrible. Huh. Let's think about that. Um, good heavy rifle, good light rifle, with some clan machine guns. Missile wise, LRM 15s. So yeah, we've got one 
tier one, I was going to say one bad, but one tier one and two LRM 20 tier fours. So let's see if we, let's look at their, I mean, they're not quite, it's tier three versus tier four, but let's go 27.6 versus 30. So the damage isn't huge, 6.5. Actually, this says it does more damage per second, 7.2 versus 6.52. Heat is less than one. Heat is more than one, 1 1.2. So it's about a 25%, well, 20% less heat. Um, weight is 10, weight is five. There you go, that's the difference. So if we got something we wanna put on, but we don't want a huge amount of weight, we could go with that. I can't, there, nothing like jumps off. And we got an SRM4 clan. We do have some ammo for it if we wanted it. Nothing jumps out at me at the moment. Um, you know, you we're running two LRM-15s on you, I believe. Yeah. Uh, not, we don't have any spots for you. No spots for you. You've got two LRM-15s. Um, but, I mean, I suppose what we could do, if we wanted to do that, and that's about the same. We've got a double here, so we'd have a little bit less ammo, and we'd go through it a little faster. It could be 20s instead of 15s. But we could free up six tons, which would let us go with, you know, something bigger here if we wanted to do an AC-20 there. Um, that would be definitely something to think about. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit repair all on this one. Um, still haven't looked at this new one yet. I mean, we haven't piloted it yet. We'll have to find something to drive around in it with. Because uh, it does look fun. Maybe we have to... We've been playing a couple slow mechs. Maybe we need to go back with, you know, maybe uh, maybe some faster mechs, right? The Broken Bow, the Marauder. Uh, Highlander's not too bad, actually. It's got Mask and Supercharger. Um, I don't know if we did it on you. See, this would be a good one. With that LRM-10, we could probably swap that for an LRM-20. That would probably be a good one for the Cyclops. Let's take a look at it and then we'll we'll figure out what we're doing after that. So if we got rid of that, and then we went LRM20 clan. See, we're right there. Throw a ton in there somewhere. And we just added 2.89 damage you know, per second, in theory. Uh, weapon heat's a little bit worse, but not not huge considering the, the jump. I think that's probably fine. Um, no AMS on this one, interestingly. We could go, instead of endo, let's, let's think about this here for a second. If we go without endo, but then we go with XL. See, now all of a sudden we've got plenty. Now all of a sudden we've got you know, 12 tons to play with. Um, we don't really need heat. Well, weapon heat is something. I mean, we could... We'd easily throw some of these in here. Throw in maybe laser AMS. We still got seven tons left <laughs> that we could do whatever with. Um, it is just the one AMS, so we don't have two of those. Um... Can we improve our medium lasers at least while we're here? Yes. So a little bit more damage there as well. Um, I, I don't know what else we're going to do with the extra seven tons. But we've clearly got it at this point. We didn't really spend a whole lot of time or money on this. I'm just going to hit build for now. We know it's, we know it's under tonned. Um, maybe I'll hit max armor. We'll bring that up. Um, that gives us something. And we'll build it like that for now. Um, but now, I suppose, um, we could do mask and jump jets and all the things we do on other mechs, right? Because we've got... Um, I don't have a mask kicking around. Um, but three jump jets we could obviously do pretty easily here. As long as we're sitting here. So at least we've got jump jets. Now we're over tonnage. Um, 
Maybe two jump jets? Are those two each? Two each. I think that's fine for now. Um, Armor-wise... I mean, we could put, like, uh, we've got what? Do we have, like, a .75 in here? There we go. So it's got jump jets. It's got LM LRMs. I think that's fine. Uh, it's expensive, but I think we'll be okay. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.